Welcome, it's Doc's Office Hours, 22 July, Asia time. Thanks for being here. Topics I've got on the list, action items, news, upcoming change log, look and feel, improvements, Google Summer of Code update, and then longstanding pull requests. And I've actually made some more progress on one of those. This one I'll drop out. Any other topics that you want to put on the list? And Kristen, I think what we ought to do is let's put this one up higher just to be sure that we get to it in case we, okay. so we don't run out of time. Sure. And that one can move down because it's just machinery. All right. So if no other topics, how about let's go through the agenda. So bad news, the action items, I've still made no progress. They're gonna be, and it'll be several weeks at least before I make progress on those. Um, news items, I may, I, in fact, I think I do need to cancel next week's meeting because I'll be in Southern California attending a conference. Uh, any objections there? We'll miss you, but have fun. All right, okay. so. Mark to cancel in the calendar. Great. Great. All right. So Google Summer of Code update. So Kristen, we've. Why don't you give a brief summary of Vihan's Vihan's amazing work so far? And sure. So this is the we have reached the midpoint of the uh, of Google Summer of Code. Uh, we're halfway through the summer already. I can't, sometimes I can't believe we're already here. But um, earlier or yesterday um, or depending earlier today, depending where you are in the world. Um, there was a online meetup where all the different students who work on projects kind of give a midpoint presentation about their stuff. And if you're interested in watching uh, Vihan, Vihan's is near the end. Um, actually, I think this is the last presentation. So you can skip forward through a lot of the video and take a look at the amazing work he's done. Um, a lot of like summary, a lot of it has been improving some of the docs um, website stuff in general, um, doing some massive upgrades to the generator. Uh, oh yeah, so they want to upgrades to the generator, um, the website improvements. I'll go back. <laughs> like uh, there's the the scroll bar situation. Yeah, search is the static huge one. scroll bar. Yeah, yes. that was. It's sometimes it's like yes, that was a huge improvement early in the summer, and then the search option. And to people watching this video, if there's any other places that you can think of, or please provide feedback, and we are actively reviewing it right now. So any feedback would be welcome on some of these pages as well. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So and just... the next, oh, sorry, go, go for it. No, no. I was thinking, and the next phase is going to be improving um, some of the incredibly large pieces of documentation that we have. For example, um, the step step <laughs> or the checkout step where there's just a lot of information going on. So um, Behan like did a great job like running to the fit, like getting the stuff out for the end of coding phase one. So he's gonna regroup and come up with some preliminary designs that will probably be shared in future docs office hours and on the docs channel. So if you are interested, please take a look. And attend the um, Europe office hours yes. because that's where Vihan tends to share latest yes. progress, at least that I've seen. Yes. And no Europe office hours next week. Uh, Kristen, is that going to harm Vihan? Probably not because we're coming up with the design, I think, is happening over the next week. So, it okay. might be a little, All right. depending so on where he is, and worst case scenario, it will be in the We'll share some pictures in the channel. Okay, and, great. Uh, yeah, continuing. And we do use, uh, say, for video purposes, we use the docs um, channel in Gitter for all of this discussion. So um, if you have comments or suggestions, please share there and also keep an eye out for some potential um, wireframes of what it could look like in a new layout. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Oh, now have, have, oh go it's ahead. been, I feel like this has been so, so successful too. It's like, I'm so happy the docs, <laughs> docs sig has been here cheering us on. <laughs>
cheering him on <laughs> for completing a good project. So, yep. Power Excellent. of community. Well, thanks. Thanks very much to him and to your work. Oh, yeah. it's, that's really impressive. All right. So one, a, new, a new, different topic. We've got a pull request out for look and feel improvements to the Jenkins page, to the, to the whole site. Mm. And so let's take a look at it just to give hints as to what's being proposed. It looks... For me, it looks really good. There, there are a couple of weaknesses that I found just today in exploring. So here's the proposed new layout. And let's compare it to the existing layout. So here's the old, here's the new. Oh, good. So you got your Jumbotron or whatever back visible. Right. right. So the Jumbotron is above the, above the fold, at least on my screen, like it was yes. before. Now there is there is the the hiccup I found was this one. If I shrink to a particular size, like four by three, ten twenty four, there's an overlap thing here that doesn't happen here with the image, though it does happen with the scroll the bar. So if I go there, image is still pushing it. So somehow the, the image is not resizing downwards, even though it's SVG. And so ah. that's what I need to ask him about to see what's or ask the author about to see can that svg image be adjusted still but really pleased recent adjustments included use this uh, sort of darker this different blue in the download oh, button that's, page that's nice last week we had colors i didn't like right exactly and so nice. those are good now the yeah there and I'm, I'm never quite sure which sizes of screen matter to people. I know the sizes that matter to me, they're the screens that I use, but. Right. And I don't uh, understand people who try to read this sort of stuff on a phone. <laughs> they're out there. Yes, yes. And I don't have an answer for that one. So that absolutely. And, me either. And, <laughs> like, and, I don't and, either. <laughs> yeah, okay. So as it turns out, I don't have to coordinate with Gavin. Gavin has, has adopt, adapted plugins.jenkins.io already to the new layout. So as soon as we are ready to merge it, ready to merge anytime. Cool. Yeah, and, and again, this is, this is just a contributor who sort of came out of nowhere and said, I'd like to help and has been through several iterations to get it to this point. For me, it feels like it's a, it's a, a good compromise, a good set of layout, and it's, it's, it lays out well in the rest of the site. So it's, yeah. it's not breaking other things. Any comments or guidance there that you wanna give? No, good stuff. Okay, next topic then was this one, change log and upgrade guide. And here the challenge is we won't meet next week, but we need to review, we, it would be good to have a draft. So what I'll do is Mark and Kevin to create the draft. Actually, let's say it this way, Kevin and Mark create the draft next week and then we'll review, review asynchronously. Um, look at the pull request once it's submitted. Not expected to be an awful lot of heavyweight content in it. I've not seen any major changes that are needed for the, the LTS candidate. So I'm, I'm expecting to be quite small. Cool. And then I did want to show, I've made one, a few more steps on modernizing a plugin. We're going to do a session at DevOps World a two hour session at DevOps World on uh, adopting a plugin. And we've got three of us working together on it. So Mark, John Mark, and Bruno Verashton. And what we'll be doing is we're going to uh, temporarily adopt about 30 plugins, um, modernize them, and then sort of hide the modernizations. And then we'll have the students 
in a workshop, modernize them with the idea that they can then look at the, look in the back of the book uh -huh. for the answers when they hit a problem. And then are you gonna merge the students' work? Exactly. Yeah, the goal is that each of the each of the students in the workshop, each participant in the workshop, leaves the workshop having merged at least one pull request. Okay. Ah, what just happened? Bad fingers. Hang on, just a minute. Each student merge at least one pull request in the two hours of the workshop. Now we've also got a, uh, an ongoing effort to use Gitpod to create and delete development environments. Ah. So what this does is it gives us automation, automatic creation of good development environments. In other words, with correct Java, correct Maven, et cetera. And it lets them, lets them run Jenkins without ever putting it on their own computer. Yeah, good stuff. Is this, will everybody be in, um, in location or will some of these people be remote? On location. On so location. On, on location, workshop in Orlando, Florida. Uh -huh. Now, what we're going to do is we'll use, and this is the thing that's crucial for, for us as a docs office hours, is we will use the, the tutorial pages. Uh -huh. So they have to be published by then. Any other, any questions there on that one? Uh, Kristen, I don't know, are you planning on being at DevOps World? I'm, I was assuming not. No, no, I'm not gonna be there. I've never okay. ever been to a DevOps World. Oh, you have not? Oh, <laughs> no, okay. I've never been, I've never been to one. <laughs> okay. I hope you all have fun. <laughs> and, and Orlando, May, is this August or September that you're going to Orlando? And the end of September. Okay, oh dear. We'll and Meg, are you are you likely to be at DevOps World? No, no. Okay. All right. Any other topics? Do we want to look at some poll requests and see if we can close out any any other old ones? Got a few minutes. If we got anything, we can close. I'd say let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we've got. Okay, this one just came in from Daniel Beck. It's had several reviews. Devin Nussbaum. Okay, I'm not sure I'm ready to merge it yet because I think that I assume that Daniel put Vodak in specifically and intentionally. Yeah. So I propose to hold that one. Oh, oh, here's a fun one. Fun one for the two of you. Okay, and this is <laughs> testing. So Gavin Mogan, who provides um, many answers to questions on community.jenkins.io and on the Gitter channel, has been rather annoyed lately because a bunch of people have asked questions that made him, it, it clear to him that they thought Blue Ocean was being actively developed, that it was getting new enhancements, uh, et cetera. Uh -huh. And he okay. said, hey, let's get a statement in the documentation that okay. admits very clearly that we're not actively enhancing Blue Ocean. Okay. So here's but what we're Kevin- We're also not actively driving a stake through its heart either, right? Correct, yeah, right. And so- there, I've heard that too. Sure, that right. And, and, and that's, that's sort of the phrasing that I felt like sometimes Gavin was using was he was trying to drive a stake through its heart and he's mm. not. He, he clarified he's not. So, oh, so I didn't here's, know if they that was the subtle thing he was trying to do. <laughs> discourage, aggressively discourage. <laughs> so. Well, in this case, it's not because 
we don't want to we don't want to shut down the the tutorial pages they still sure. work and and as part of this development work kevin actually went through and did the tutorials oh, and he okay. confirmed yes in fact they do still work oh, good. so it's it's not a matter of we're te we're telling someone to do something that's broken oh, okay good good yeah but what kevin's created is this reference this insertable snippet that we'll put into multiple pages so blue ocean will not receive further functionality updates Blue Ocean will continue to provide easy to use pipeline visualization, but will not be enhanced further. It will only receive selective updates for significant service security issues or functional defects. Okay, so that's this is basically a quote from the, the document that Jeremy Hartley created in 2019. Okay. And then this one, alternative options for pipeline visualization, such as pipeline stage view, and pipeline graph view plugins are available and offer some of the same functionality. While not complete replacements for Blue Ocean, contributions are encouraged from the community for continued development of these plugins. Okay, to the two of you, as you hear that, you've heard my, my reading of it, what do you think? Is that okay? Uh huh. Unsaid, but implied is we're not really looking for even the community to enhance Blue Ocean. No, no, we're, in fact, we're not. And, and yeah. that's, that. yeah, it, I didn't, it doesn't say explicitly, please don't bother submitting pull requests. It's there, it's, yeah. yeah it's, I, it's think, I think I it's think good, I think somebody can. Because on well, my reading, I still, I love doing the tutorial with Blue Ocean. Mm -hmm. For somebody yeah. who's coming brand new to a pipeline, I think it gets them up to speed and conceptually very fast. I can't imagine trying to do any real work with that thing. Well, and 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 that's that's why pipeline visualization is the emphasized use case. Right. Right. It because right you. Yeah. that's where it matters, at least to me. Yes. I use it all the time to see where the pipeline broke. Yes. And then I click the thing to see if I can find in the log there. Yep. And when I can't, I know that I need to go searching in the big log. Yep. Right. It feels a lot like how I do it too. <laughs> so you right. start with, okay, where's the little red X? Which stage? Right. All right. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Which, which stage broke? Okay. Yep. Now, is there a good hint in that in the easy visualization? Yep. If not, okay, go look for it in the in the big full yeah. console. And did he find it uh, going through the, the tutorial or whatever that, because I, you know, at one time it was all blue ocean all the way, but fairly early. Now, at least when I last saw the tutorial, fairly early in it, it says, okay, now here's how you work with pipelines outside Blue Ocean. And from here okay. on, you can do it either way. And, and that I don't know. So it, I think that depends on the tutorial, right? Because some of the tutorials are, are completely free of Blue Ocean. They use no Blue Ocean at all, or they barely use any. So for example, the Maven tutorial, is let's let's go there just for a minute so the maven the Pyth, the node and the python tutorials all three of these tutorials make very little use of blue ocean because they really don't need it right no i'm talking about the original one just the the inter, the pipeline introduction which ah, may okay. not even still may be live it may, may not even be live anymore maybe it's this one getting started let's see if that See, this one just shows you copy and paste these pipelines steps yeah. in. It, it doesn't even show you Blue Ocean. It just says, hey, look, this is this is how you do it and copy and paste. Mm -hmm. and, and that for a tutorial, that's actually a fine thing, right? There's no harm in doing it. It's it's intentional. You can you can just copy and paste this thing. Right. No, I'm talking about the one actually that's on J um, um, Cloud Bees University. Oh, oh, that one. So that one I don't know. And Kevin, Kevin doesn't work on those, so yeah. he he hasn't touched. They may that not one. be still be there. I don't know. Yeah, I can't go in and look I, I at it anonymously, and I kind of don't want to go in there under my own name. So, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I think that's fair enough. Yeah. Now he did he did visit, for instance, it was I think it was this one. Let's see. This nope nope that's just a blog post. There was one maybe it's this one end to inch multi branch, which if I remember right does go through. 
Now I gotta look and see. Nope, nope. Even this one is not. This one is is guiding you in doing something very, very, very simple. You're not designing the pipeline with the Blue Ocean editor, so it's yeah. not using the editor. I thought we did have one that did did the editor, but I obviously I'm not. Oh yeah, here it is. It's yeah. this one. Getting started with with it, and here this one actually takes you through the editor and using editor steps to. Let's find it. So here we go. This there one go, right yeah. here. You remember this page, right, Meg? Oh, yeah. And and this is walking them through, hey, do this, do this, and these exact steps. But he confirmed this works and even updated this, this little page right here from an ancient version of Node.js to the long-term support version. All right. So, so one of the Very things nice. that I wanted your feedback on, though, is, and I'm going to show you the prototype site to get that feedback, is the where do we put these in each page? Ah. So hold on just a minute while I while we look at that together, and let's view the deployment here. Oh, is this it? No, that's the that's the current one. So view deployment, and now if we go to documentation in the user guide, Blue Ocean, and let's look at say activity view. Okay, so it's in this page. And yet it's not above the fold. So here is the here is the thing about the here's the warning. Okay. And from my taste, that's too low. I wanted it above the picture. But I'm I'm looking for your guy. What what's your opinion for the two? I'd of you? almost put it right at the very top. You've got a big section called Blue Ocean. Why not put it at the very top there? You mean like here? Yeah, like at the very beginning, it's what blue ocean is and well, well, so certainly so the proposal is to actually put it on multiple pages. Right. So the idea is put it on every page that references blue ocean. Yes, yes. But yes. my question is inside those pages, where do we put it conceptually? The top. Yeah, okay. So Kristen, I think I I think I'm yeah. I'm hearing you say what I wanted to hear. That's yeah. good. <laughs> I was because I'm thinking if someone is hitting this, I'm imagining okay, what, what if someone Googled? I want to want to hit them and I want them to see oh before they get too excited about this to say right this is a good getting started but maybe not something you yeah need like to right spend there where you're setting up your pipeline project. Is there even a link to instructions for setting it up outside of Blue Ocean? Uh, in this case, there is not. But like so what I was something called creating a pipe. Oh, that's oh, you're creating a pipeline within Blue Ocean. Now yes. yes. Right, right. So this is very specific to Blue Ocean. But my thought was after this second paragraph, I would like to insert this big warning thing here, right? This Why not at the very beginning where it tells you what Blue Ocean is and I I I okay. And this is I wasn't sure stylistically. I before giving the opening paragraph felt too soon to me just because I wanted to at least get the opening paragraph in. No, I'm talking the open for Blue Ocean. Go go back, click Blue Ocean again. Click Blue Ocean here, yes. Okay. There it says, what is Blue Ocean? Now scroll just a tiny bit down. Okay. Now I would put it like right after that bullet list. Oh, yes, I agree. On this page right here, on this page right here, I think it goes above this section that I'm highlighting. That'll work, that, too. yeah. That at least would make sense to me. Or it could be below this, but it, it should be in this first section before the before right. this, the, the second header. Right. Yes. All I can think about is I want to see this without having to scroll. Right, right. Box. Yeah, say exactly. It's like, that I don't... Was, I would like as high up as possible personally, because I just want to extra highlight how much we do not want people to start getting invested in the, like you can use it again. It's like you can use it, but it's like please do not start falling in love with this. <laughs> this uh, well, I think I'm, I don't see why they can't fall in love with it. They just have to know it's not going to change. Right, and, and that's and and that's the story that the the text is trying to say. Right, is use it, use it to visualize pipelines but realize we're not going to add more to it. It's functionally complete. 
Mm. If if somebody was really new to this and really befuddled and needed to set up their first pipeline, I might tell them to go to Blue Ocean and set mm -hmm. up just their stages, just get the basics there. It right. saves them a world of hurt. And uh, and then if you're worthy of doing pipelines, you're going to want out of it. So except to, for visualization and stuff. Because that's the one thing I see too, though, is that's like two pair. Like if I look at this screen, that's going to consume a third of what's on the screen without scrolling. Exactly. And I don't know if I want that on every page through this as a third of every page is the same wording. Well, but but, but then that's... you have the problem that people don't read in sequ sequence. So if it's not on every page, they don't see it. See, and that was my worry is that if we don't put it on every single page, well, as an example, there are some pages where it just makes sense to put it in. This one right here, for instance, I don't, that's an awful screenshot. It clearly needs a repair. Oh no, this is, this is, oh, sorry. This is, <laughs> this is, this is Leah marking it up. I see my mistake. Mm -hmm. I got it. But we notice that we've got this nice blank space here, right below this text. Right. So it may actually not move this image at all on this particular page because could you put part of it on every page sure what part would you what part I'm, would you i'm thinking the just the top part that it won't be getting more that it works where is the here's oh, you the don't want to you don't want to confuse people by throwing in the alternative options when there might be try, starting at the first time well i want that if they're going to do much with pipeline they're going to have to look at more than one page right correct you know so i don't know just to to me but that it will not receive further functionality updates continue to provide these use like if at the beginning of blue ocean you have the whole thing and then just have like what's those three lines which will probably be two lines of text mm, the alternative yeah. options i don't know that that needs to be on there but that's just me well, and the the reason the reason this one was added was specifically at Gavin's request. He said, "Hey, we want to." My my argument initially was, "Hey, I don't want to talk about alternatives because I don't think either of these is actually a terribly good alternative for visualization." Right. Well, then that's this is not. I mean, this is more of an existential Jenkins question. That's not a good sign if we have. A UI that's supposed to be about pipeline visualization. We decide not to continue working on it, and then don't have a good alternative that will potentially receive updates, security patches, etc. I don't know. That's, yes. Now, clearly, we can't solve that here. <laughs> but well, I'm not sure and, that's a good. And you and you're right. That's not healthy. And, no. and that's that's a not healthy condition that that is is getting some attention elsewhere. So okay. that that I'm. I'm less concerned about that long term. Okay, okay, good. Because because I think you're right. We've got to have pipeline visualization. And today mm -hmm. we've got Blue Ocean. And yeah. today it works and it visualizes pipelines. This graph view thing is actually pretty close to a Blue Ocean replacement for the visualization piece. It just doesn't render every pipeline as accurately as Blue Ocean does. Mm -hmm. There are some places it just makes mistakes. And the challenge for it is the, the maintainer of it is not actively working on it because he's working on other things. Yeah, okay. And, but you know what else is missing here is that, because you've, you've moved on, you're already just assuming it's just for visualization. Right. And we've got a whole lot of stuff and people using it, I think, who, for creating a pipeline. And we're not pointing them to the, op the alternatives for that either. Oh, oh, I see. Your point there is... Uh, alternative options for pipeline creation might be another way of phrasing it. Interesting. Yeah. So maybe, maybe that further argues for your, your idea that first, first three sentences everywhere, these two on pages that are, are related to visualization and maybe additional, some additional text on pages that are related to pipeline okay. creation, like this create a pipeline in, mm -hmm. in Blue Ocean page. Yeah. Interesting idea. Okay, well, let me let me discuss that with Kevin to see see what 
what he thinks because I, I think I like that idea. Let me make a note of that in the, yeah. in the notes. And then that's right. my only concern, you know, is I've, I've been on site where I'm trying to read something and every third sentence is some boilerplate thing repeated. Mm -hmm. and about the 10th time I'm like enough. Right. But, but it is tough because I think they should read one of these sections from beginning to end. And mm -hmm. then they would just get at the beginning and know, but they people don't do that. So, right. Okay. So, so let me let me try to capture that. So, three different types of admonitions, right? So there is the full full disclaimer uh, on the it opening. Definitely page. goes at the very beginning of the blue ocean section right, I mean, on the yeah. opening section, right? And that disclaims that notes that it's. No new, no enhancements. Uh, visualization alternatives. Pipeline creation alternatives, and this actually may be a good way to align with one of the desires that Gavin had, which was uh, refer to the snippet generator. Right, the pipeline snippet generator, because because we. We don't refer to it enough, truthfully. People still are not getting it. That is the first place you should go to do pipeline syntax. Right. But, but okay, that's full disclaimer there. And then visualization pages, or no, a visualization disclaimer on sections focused on visualization. Right. And there it would be no enhancements, visualization alternatives is that is that the message that you were trying to get through yeah. to me meg right and then and pipeline creation disclaimer or uh, it doesn't maybe even need to be a disclaimer just make sure that every time we tell them how to create pipeline with blue ocean we have a link to here's how you create it outside of blue ocean yeah, so maybe maybe I put it as I'm just going to put it as admonition. Yeah, because it's 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 not really a disclaimer in that sense. The word disclaimer is or is an is a is wrong. Do you know what else is not here? What's that? The obvious thing. I can create a pipeline with Blue Ocean, and then work on it with non Blue Ocean tools. I can create. I can use traditional tools to create my pipeline and still do the visualization with Blue Ocean. In other words, ah. if you get the same pipe that you can, you know, if you say, but Blue Ocean's going away and that's what I've used for all my pipelines, it doesn't matter unless you're right. not using the tool. But the well, your pipeline itself is the same. But but that I think is actually already stated in in a number of places in the documents. It may be okay. Saying that you you can edit this with the text editor. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But so, so if, if we had these three admin styles of admonitions, Meg, to your point, that avoids redundancy. They're not seeing exactly the same text every time. Right. It, it shrinks the text in, in those places where it's not pipeline creation focused or it's not visualization focused. Yeah, let me let me talk that over with Kevin. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, it's just a matter. Probably when you're done. Yeah, you've got Kevin. He needs to just some evening sit himself down with a good, you know, with a bu bucket of popcorn and just read through it all and see if what he's left with is good. Right. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Anything else on the Blue Ocean admonition? No, but nice, nice work. So Meg, I think we're we're probably at your time, aren't we? So yeah, or, we pretty much are. I should get going. Okay. Well, is there anything we could? Have you got one more quick one? Uh, well, let's look and see. So let's do a, a quick check because I want you both to notice we're down to twenty six open pull requests. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, here we go. Here's one inclusive naming screenshot update on the inbound agent. I had requested a change on this one. 
Uh, okay, nope. This one needs comments from from others or Oleg. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one, not ready. I I think I could act as Oleg's proxy on it, but not not in the time we have. And the others, the drafts on security. Yeah, I gotta talk about that. I will. I'm. I I still haven't. Daniel's been working on other things, and and I understand. I started to think. I mean, it's probably a mess now because he's probably done a whole bunch more changes to what we've got. It's yeah, I, I I have not looked. I apologize, Meg. I really truly have not looked. No need to apologize. It kept me off the streets for a while. <laughs> I have. All right. I think I think I'm I'm at at hold for that. We call All it right. good enough for today. Good. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks to both of you. Have a great Thank evening. You have a you wonderful too. conference. Talk to yes. you. Talk to you in two weeks. Two weeks. No, no message. Yes. No meeting next week. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye bye. Bye.